What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 7.1. This jailbreak is only for the iPhone 4 and this is only a tethered jailbreak, meaning that you need a computer for your device to be turned back on after a reboot. So all the links will be in the description below and this time we'll be using Geeksnow 2.5. So once you have it downloaded into your desktop, you're going to go ahead and right click and go to properties, go to compatibility and make sure the run the program as administrator is checked, click apply and then click OK. So double click on Geek Snow. You're gonna get this pop-up window. But before you do anything else, you want to make sure that your iDevice or iPhone 4 is in the EFU mode. To put it in the EFU mode, you want to go ahead and hold the home button for three seconds, then the power button for an additional ten seconds together. Once those ten seconds are up, you're gonna let go of the power button, keep holding onto the home button, and then you're gonna hear a chime on your computer. Alright, so once you have it in DFU mode, you want to go ahead and click on jailbreak. You're going to get three options. 3.1 is going to be the GSM model. So if your iPhone uses a SIM card to operate to use the network, then you're going to select that. 3.2 is if you have the iPhone for a gigabyte model. And 3.3 is the CDMA model, meaning if your phone was using uh, Verizon or something that does not use a SIM card, you're going to select that. So once you have your mode selected, you want to go ahead and click on jailbreak. You may get this pop-up window, that's fine. You can go ahead and click OK if you do. Now it's going to tell you to put your iDevice in the EFU mode, which you already did. You're going to get this separate pop-up window. Do not close out of this window, it's very important. And you're going to let that sit there. Now this process is going to take a while, so that's why I'm going to have it fast forward. So just to talk about this jailbreak, right now it's only working for the iPhone 4, because I believe it's using the A4 chip processor, and it's the only hardware exploit currently so I don't think there's gonna be a uh, untethered jailbreak for the iPhone 5s 5c anytime soon but if there is that'll be great my prediction is that they'll probably save the exploit for iOS 8 it's gonna come out in the WWDC 2014 alright so it should be done by now so the, the pop-up window should close it by itself and right now it's gonna tell you to once again put it in DFU mode so we're gonna do the same thing you did in the beginning of the video by holding down the home button for 3 seconds then holding down the power button together for 10 seconds after those 10 seconds you're going to let go of the power button and keep holding on to the home button like so alright and then on your window there it should say booting with open snow now I do put my iPhone down for a second but it goes straight into the um, boot cycle so your iDevice uh, display should light up by a bit and then they're gonna go through the uh, wall of text cycle so should be getting this so once again I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward Alright, now you're going to get the wall of text. Then you get the regular Apple logo. And from here, it's going to say, waiting for iDevice to be ready. This will take a lot, or a bit, I'm sorry. So you're going to go ahead and unlock your device. You're going to notice that Cydia is not there. So lay your, lay your iDevice on the table anywhere and just wait. Because it does take a while for it to, once again, go back to the boot cycle. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. Now iOS 7.1 does bring a lot of good uh, updates and bug fixes, so if you do have an iPhone 4, I suggest you updating to iOS 7.1 and just use this jailbreak. So once again, it's going to tell you to, for the final time, put it in DFU mode. So pretty much do the same thing, hold the home button 3 seconds, hold the power button 10 seconds, let go of the uh, power button, and then keep holding on to the home button. And then it should go over the same cycle I did, booting with open snow. So you're gonna get the same thing, the bright Apple logo with a gray background and the and the uh, wall of text. Only this time it's gonna say on the window, it's gonna say done. You can close it in the window, and we can go ahead and focus on the iPhone. 
I do apologize if I'm going too fast. I kind of uh, edited this uh, video pretty quickly, so I do apologize again. So once your iPhone is ready, you're going to go ahead and slide to unlock. And then this time you should notice you have Cydia. So we're going to go ahead and type on Cydia. And it's going to give you the same um, process. It's going to tell you who you are, user, developer, hacker, so on and so forth. So select the settings that you're most comfortable with. Tap on done. And it's going to load its uh, packages and releases. Alright, there you go. Welcome to Cydia. So at the bottom there, I'm going to show you that it does say iOS 7.1. If I can focus, there you go. iOS 7.1. Alright, and just to double check, we're going to go ahead and go into settings and show you that I am running on iOS 7.1. Like so. And to triple check, I'm going to show you that the new slide to power off theme that iOS 7.1 only has as of right now. So right there. So I'm showing you this is not a fake. So if you guys like this video, please click the like button. If you have more questions, post a comment. And if you want to see more videos like these, please subscribe. Thanks.